Hi guys, my name's Sammy and I work in the pharmaceutical industry. I work for a company called GSK, also known as GlaxoSmithKline. Um, I guess you might have heard of some of their consumer products, including Aquafresh, uh, Listerine, um, Sensodyne, I guess. So there's there's quite a lot of uh, consumer based stuff that we that we manufacture as a pharmaceutical company. But I guess what you won't see is the stuff that goes on behind the scenes to manufacture drug products that essentially save people's lives and give them a better quality of life. My role uh, is a device technologist and basically what that means is that I um, manage a number of technical projects to bring medical devices in. I'd say half project management and half technical understanding of, of a medical device. I'm really proud to work in the pharmaceutical industry, as you can tell, it's so varied and it's, you know, no two weeks are the same in this role. It, it really is varied. There's, there's a lot, lot of, um, there's a lot of scope to the role, which, which I really enjoy. And I also really like the fact that uh, I'm, I'm essentially allowed to just manage myself. And as long as I'm doing my job and I'm delivering, then, you know, I've got the flexibility time management and organization um if you want to be a project sort of manager in any industry whether it's scientific or not you've got to be a, an organized individual solid hard skills that you can learn i'd say um sort of technical report writing explain and summarize the data that you've got that that's quite a big one as well i'd say to be able to influence so stakeholder management regardless of what industry you're in is is really key and just having the confidence in yourself to, if you're not sure, pipe up and say, I'm not sure and that's fine. But also have that confidence of, I know what I'm doing. I've got this and I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to like plow on it and try, even though the thought of it scares me, I'm going to, I'm going to give it a go anyway. I did a degree in biomedical sciences, which is um it was a bachelor's degree and it's 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 kind of the study of disease and how that affects the human body a typical working week for me will be a mixture of meetings and when i say meetings i don't mean the type of meetings that you just sit in and listen to and that fall asleep in it's really running and leading meetings and engaging a project team to to drive the project forward interactions with people across the business so you've got what we call stakeholders they could be internal stakeholders so people that work with me at gsk but i also work with some you know suppliers of some of our medical devices so there's sort of that inward outward facing relationship building really uh, i might get a phone call to say that one of the manufacturing lines at site has gone down and it's not working properly so you know my device knowledge and technical expertise would require me to go to site to troubleshoot and try and fix the problem at hand. I guess the natural route for me when I left university was to work for the NHS and to go into the testing labs in the NHS testing you know patient samples. Um, I struggled to get a job in that because it was you know there weren't very many around at the time. Keep your eyes peeled for grad schemes so GSK do a grad scheme called the Future Leader Programme or the FLP. Um, now it's a competitive scheme, so loads of people apply, but that shouldn't put you off because it's it's one way of basically getting into a, a huge multinational company like GSK and you're essentially um, sort of worked up through the ranks. So you, you do a three year rotation, three different roles across three different years. And at the end of that three years, you are an operations manager which is quite a senior manager, it's, that's two, two grades above me. Keep trying, it, it's never easy when you leave university because you know there's only so much guidance you can get from people, it's still, it's still up to you at the end of the day and it's a lot of pressure, so don't put pressure on yourself, just, just do your research, use people like um, recruitment agents and contacts across multiple industries and you know, careers fairs, just every resource that you have, just use it and keep your eyes peeled and guarantee that something will come up. It's just a matter of time. Best of luck and uh, and I hope, I hope your careers go well.